Suggs, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time checking me out, hello, stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime I do any type of uploads. So you guys, today I'm going to be doing this quick five minute, literally it took me five minutes. It kind of took me a little bit longer because I was filming, obviously, but normally this is a five minute wash and go. And today I actually used two products instead of one. And then I'm going to do a review of one of these products, the Camille Rose Curl Maker throughout this video so you guys can see if I like it on my fine hair or if it's too crunchy you know we'll get into that and see how I achieved this look but before we get into that I do want to give a shout out to Madame Glam New York they reached out to me to see if I was interested in trying out some of their soak off gel polishes I was extremely excited I typically like gel polishes on my toes because they last a lot longer and so the cool thing about this company it is cruelty and vegan free and it's HEMA free, so that is awesome. They have a lot of natural ingredients with formulated within these products, within their gel polishes, and they do recommend a UV light. So they sent me five polishes as well as a UV light, and I will get into that in a little bit. So the UV light is this. It is portable, so I can pretty much move it and plug it up anywhere I choose to, and it takes about two minutes for you to dry your nails dry the gel polish so i thought that was cool they sent me two a top coat soak off top coat and then a soak off base coat and then they sent me three nude colors because i am a nude girl so i got a nude that is delicacy that's the name of it it comes in a bottle like this then i got a this is like a mauve color you're so vain and then I got a purple color and it's a lilac you a lot and it came in this bottle so these are all three of the colors on my nails these are this is you're so vain lilac you a lot and delicacy so they come out pretty vibrant and pretty sorry I'm not the great nail polisher so y'all don't get too close on my nails but anyways so they come out very vibrant and they're pretty awesome on the nails. I actually had the nude color on my nails over here. But y'all, I was having a problem. Like, I was struggling with the soak off part. So I had to look up how to soak off gel polish. So that's why I didn't demonstrate this hand. Because this whole hand was actually a nude. And I really, really liked it. And I was so sad. I had mastered down the UV light and everything. So, ugh. Anyways. So, yes. But they did send me a coupon code and a link so you guys can either sign up for a membership or get 30% off your purchase, which is pretty awesome. So don't forget to check out the description box so you guys can get some cool soak off gel nail polishes. But we're going to get into this lovely wash and go. Okay, love bugs, I am back. So I'm going to show you guys this quick five minute wash and go. Literally, I'm applying products then below drying it you will see me wash my hair in this product so that did add a little bit of time so it's more like a 10 minute wash and go I wash my hair with the sweet uh, ginger cleansing rinse from Camille Rose then I added in the honey hydrate leave-in and then to top it off I went ahead with the curl maker to see if I can get some type of hold and a little bit more of defining to my curls and then followed up with my Dyson blow dryer so it's the Camille Rose Curl Maker. It's 12 ounces for $21.99 at Target. You can pretty much get these items anywhere. So some of these key products are, it's a jelly-like type texture. It is a moisturizing jelly. It's easy for a wash and go styling. So they said we want every style to be defined but soft and smooth. So we've added notes of agave extract, which are natural humectants to fight even the frizziest hair for long lasting curls so they also incorporated a natural hydrator marshmallow root it's a beauty recipe to help detangle and moisturize hair and help with hair retention so what I did notice when applying this product was it was not hard and rough like a gel I applied it to my hair. I it did feel moisturized as I was applying it, so I was actually surprised by that because I didn't think when you think of gel or anything jelly, you always think automatically drying. 
Also, I thought this was going to flake, which to my surprise, it did not when I blow dried it. Also, I will say my curls were defined a lot more. Once I put in the, the Dyson in, my hair definitely got a little bit fuller. I will say that I did have like a very smooth, a smooth, smooth, smooth approach to this. Um, so I will say that it definitely did make my hair feel easy. I feel like a lot of her products are kind of detangled products. That's just, it could be me just being biased, but I don't think a lot of her products are harder to detangle with. I think they make it a lot easier, especially if you use all of her products in one setting. Um, so I actually am a fan of that. I will also say that a little bit of this product goes a long way. I was kind of turned off by the price of $21.99, but then when I started pumping it into my hair and seeing how much of the product spread throughout my hair follicles, I was absolutely a fan. And I love the fact that it was lightweight and not heavy, even though I layered it. Um, a lot of times I can't layer my wash and goes because my hair is very fine and it gets weighted down very, very easily. And I didn't experience that with this at all. So I was extremely happy with the outcome. Sound off in the comment section. Let me know if you guys like this product, what you guys think, what other products should I try from her line. I'm expanding my horizon and I'm stepping out on a lot more products of hers. But until next time, bye y'all.